students so now in this video we are going to learn the new method of higher order differential equation where we'll be having right hand side as the polynomial or i would say x raised to m and we are going to see how to solve such type of higher order differential equations or linear differential equations when your right hand side is a polynomial <music> Are the steps so whenever we want to find out the value of linear differential equation or we want to solve the linear differential equation where the right hand side is x raised to m or the polynomial so it can be any poly polynomial having the degree m so guys what are the steps so step number one remains same that is we are going to find out the complementary function which is also called as yc so to find that what are the steps that we have already learned in the previous video but let's uh, revise it so first thing is we'll be finding the auxiliary equation and from the auxiliary equation we'll find out the roots and then from the roots we'll find out the complementary function so that's the step number one now what is step number two so in step number two we will find pi that is particular integral which is also called as yp so we'll find it out by converting that given f of d in one of the following formula now what are the different formulas so i'll tell you but before that let's understand what is the formula of yp so your yp or particular integral is given by one upon the function of d into right hand side now guys in our case in this time we will be having the right hand side as x raised to m or any polynomial so guys let's assume that that right hand side is a polynomial so in the denominator we have function of d so what we have to do is we have to convert that function of d in such a form that we should get 1 plus or minus phi of d phi of d means some other function of d so we should get this format in the denominator so if we are getting this type of format or i would say this whole raised to n so this n can be anything it can be 1 or 2 or 3 so if we succeed to bring this denominator that is f of d in this format then we can take that in the numerator and when it comes in the numerator that n will become negative so that will become 1 plus or minus phi of d whole raised to minus n and guys then we can uh, find out the value of that bracket by using the formula so for that we have to convert that f of d in this form then you must be thinking what are the formula that we are going to apply so here are the six formula so first is let's say the value of this n is 1 and here we get the plus sign so guys just i'm telling you the different cases which are possible in the denominator because we will always try to bring the denominator in the form of 1 plus or minus phi of d but we might get one of these six cases so let's assume the first case where we get plus sign in the denominator and here the power is 1 so when we'll take it in the numerator that will look like 1 plus phi of d here i have written d for the formula sake that 1 plus d raised to minus 1 because that n is 1 when it will come in the numerator that will have minus 1 so guys to expand this we have the formula from expansion of function so we have already learned this formula in the lower semester so i'm just using that formula so by using this formula we can expand this given term and then after this bracket we have that right hand side that is the polynomial so we will multiply each and every term with the polynomial and guys let me tell you that d is nothing but d by dh because d is called as operator in linear differential equation so value of d is a derivative with respect to x or with respect to some variable which is given in the question so when it becomes d it means first derivative d square second derivative third d cube is the third derivative so we'll find out all the derivatives for the given function so we get the answer now case number two let's say if we get negative sign in between so that will become 1 minus phi of d and the power is 1 so that gets converted into this form and similarly we get remaining forms if the power becomes 2 or if the power becomes 3 so guys these are the formulae and i am sure that you know this formula from the lower standards and even if you don't know let me tell you the hint to remember the formula so 
let's start so if you see first two formula exactly same middle sign plus and the here middle sign is negative so guys what we'll do is if you see the expansion it is almost same except the sign so whenever we have negative sign in between that time all signs will be positive or all terms will be positive and whenever we have the middle sign as plus that time we will have the alternate plus and minus and guys observe one more thing that the power of d is increasing by one so how while remember let's say i have one plus d inverse so middle sign is plus i'm gonna get the alternate plus minus sign and i just have to increase the power of d so first term will be d raised to zero which is one then d raised to one d raised to two d raised to three and so on so this is how i will expand now let's say i am getting one minus d inverse so sign is changing so if middle sign is negative all terms will be positive now next two formulae 1 plus d raised to minus 2 and 1 minus d raised to minus 2 now in this case guys again same thing if the middle sign is negative all terms will be positive and if the middle term middle sign is positive we will get alternate plus and minus now one more thing power of d is again increasing by 1 1 you can observe here here initially we have d raised to 0 then d raised to 1 d raised to 2 d raised to 3 and d raised to 4 and so on but with that we also have a constant coefficient and that coefficient is nothing but your natural numbers so numbers are starting from one so one two three four five six seven eight and so on so you just have to add that number now let's say if you are getting the one plus d or one minus d raised to minus three how to remember again the same rule middle sign negative all terms positive middle sign positive alternate plus minus second the power of d it is again increasing by 1 1 so d raised to 0 d d square d cube and so on now let's observe the coefficient so that coefficient is in terms of 3 so guys this is 1 then 3 then 6 now you have to check it carefully here we don't have 9 it is 10 so you just have to remember now why i have written till d cube because normally if whenever we get the sum it has the highest power as cube so we get the cubic equation now for cubic equation we can get the three derivatives and we get fourth derivative as zero so we can find out the derivative till third term now let's say if you want to find out the next term also then it's very simple this is the expansion which i got from the binomial theorem so apply the binomial theorem here so this is a minus b raised to n where a is one b is d and the n is negative 3 so use that formula of binomial theorem and you can find out the next terms so this is how is the expansion of the formula so guys let me remind you that whenever the right hand side is a polynomial or x raised to m term that time you have to bring that denominator in the form of 1 plus or minus 5 of d raised to n and then use one of those six formula and then multiply that right hand side to each and every term of the series and get the answer so this is what the process to find out the particular integral so after getting the complementary function and particular integral the last step is adding two values to get the complete solution so guys this is the process to get the solution of linear differential equation or higher order differential equation wherever your right hand side is x raised to m or a polynomial so guys i'm sure that you understood the process and you are going to apply this process exactly whatever i have explained you now and guys if you want to see more videos on engineering mathematics and other subject of engineering then don't forget to subscribe to ikra channel because then only you will come to know the latest video that we are posting each and every day guys also don't forget to share this video with your friends because sharing is caring you can also care about your friends by sharing this video and they can also get the good knowledge about the engineering subject thank you very much keep watching the videos